Go. Let's make it happen. Okay. Yeah. So, what is this? Um, we're going to talk about notch delta signaling. Um, notch delta is, is really important because um, it does a lot of things for development. Um, two of the most important things are border definition between uh, different regions and lateral inhibition between, again, different regions. So, and, and then we'll, we'll talk about the pathway, the single link pathway afterwards. So, the way border definition works is um, it's really important for, uh, like, when you're, or the development of somites. And what somites are, are they the region or the tissue that ends up becoming um, your rib cage and all your ribs? And so, and also your spine and stuff like that. And it's really important for um, those regions to be, uh, yeah, separate from each other. Otherwise, you get diseases like scoliosis and stuff like that, where everything is fused, and you really don't want everything to be fused because you want to be able to move around. You know, it's important. Um, so there's like a the way that the borders are defined is this pathway with um, notch delta and mesp2. And what happens is down the notochord, I believe, um, it expresses FGF, and FGF is uh, secreted protein, and it's secreted down the entire organism. So you have, and what FGF does is it induces delta, and what delta does, um, or what happens is, delta is expressed in like a definite band down the entire, um, down the entire axis. So what happens is, um, there's like timed, like uh, during development down, so this is the anterior and posterior axis, and anterior to posterior, there's different pulses of FGF expression. And so one FGF does delta the entire way, and then another FGF does, um, it induces the production of MESP2. And what MESP2 does is um, it gets inhibited by notch, or well, let me start from the beginning. So delta uh, makes notch, so in the regions where delta is being produced, notch is also being produced. And then in the regions where MSP2 is being produced, so like the regions during a specific time where FGF makes FP2, or MSP2, it's getting inhibited by notch. And then uh, MSP2 inhibits delta. And what happens is in the regions where uh, MSP2 is, there's no, um, like it, this region doesn't get made. So that's what makes this break in the somites. And so that's what we call border definition. And that's it. And then there's another thing. Um, this is actually when they discovered notch and delta. They discovered it in epithelial of um, Drosophila. And what happens is there's like these, um, in the epithelial, uh, they figured out that these neuronal cells, so, these neuronal cells are spread out evenly throughout the epithelial, and each one is surrounded by non-neuronal cells, and they couldn't figure out like how they did it, and in the end it ends up being through um, this notch delta pathway. And what happens is the, the cells that become neuronal um, express delta. And what delta does is it interacts with notch to, um, in this pathway here. Uh, what it does is delta endocytoses the outside of notch. Um, there's a, it's like, was it non-colligative? Yeah. Yeah. So what happens is this area, region gets pulled off, literally pulled off, and it leaves this area outside, just like this hook here, which makes it susceptible to being cleaved by proteases. 
Um, it gets cleaved by two different proteases. One is atom, and the other is gamma secretase. And so once those two proteases cleave it, then the notch intracellular domain is free to localize to the nucleus. And once it goes to the nucleus, it acts as a transcription factor and produces or um, induces proliferation. And so that's really important because all the cells that surround the main neuronal notch or the main neuronal delta expressing cell are proliferating while the one cell, the one neuronal cell is differentiating. And so this one becomes neuronal, whereas everything else just becomes normal epithelial, and like a lot of it. So, did I miss anything? No.